Right. So I need. Uh, uh, can I borrow you? Can you just hold the end of that? Great. Just nice and lightly. Uh, other way around. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. So it's like, oh, no, yeah, the other, other way around. Yeah, that way. There we go, go, go. <laughs> hold it nice and strongly. Yeah. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flap it, but uh, you're just being a post, okay? Just hold it nice and still. I'll do the spinning. Yeah, now check this out. Up. Okay. Now, boring. You realize that's not very exciting. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to call that the first harmonic. Can everyone say that? The first harmonic! Because now if I spin it twice as fast, do you think it will go in two parts with a dead spot in the middle? Hands up if you think it will. Notice I have my hand up. Right, here we go. Look at that! Oh, it's the second harmonic all together. The second harmonic! Brilliant. Okay, let's go to the third harmonic. So do you think if I go three times, it will go in three parts with two dead spots? How many people are Yeah, of course you do. Here we go. Look at that! The third harmonic! I'll go for four, I can see if I can do four today, here we go. Can you give me a little bit more length? No, like, like, let, let go a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, let go a little bit. Make yeah, just a bit more length. Yeah. yeah! Perfect, That's here it. we go, okay, beautiful bit. Okay, going for the fourth. Oh, yeah. 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 oh my god, oh my god, the fourth one! Oh my god, ready. Okay, ready. Okay, thank you, Zoe. Oh, so kind, give me five, make it for it. Woo! Okay, now, so there are harmonics that you can see, and now we'll do some harmonics that you can hear. Okay, so... Yeah. So that spinning string was just being like um, a guitar string, but you can see it. And what happens is when you play a guitar, uh, the same thing happens. Okay, so if I play this big fat string up the top of the E string, if I put my finger halfway along, it goes in two parts with a dead spot in the middle. Look at that. And that's called the second harmonic. If I put my finger here, it goes in three parts. Four parts, five parts, six parts, nope. Six, uh, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, ooh, nine, we love nine, and then ten, and then eleven, everyone's favourite note. <laughs> oh, there it is, the evil. Anyway, so you might recognise this. Uh, yeah? So that's beautiful. So trumpets do the same thing. Well, where's my trumpet going? So that, the whole... I'm not moving anything, it's just the air vibrating in different fractions of its length. Oh my god, harmonics, they're everywhere! Okay. <laughs> and the cool thing is, when you're singing, if I go, you're hearing all the harmonics in my voice, so all those notes of the harmonic series, you hear them, you hear them as little spikes. So if this is the frequency you're mostly singing, if you go, this is low frequency, high frequency, I'll go the other way around, okay? <laughs> Yeah, low frequency, high frequency. And so as you go, these little sticks of other notes come up, but you don't hear them as notes, you hear them as tone quality, yeah? Until you shape your mouth in a shape that reinforces one of these notes and resonates along. So if I go, hear that high note? Because that's the air in your mouth resonating to that note. If I go to another, next one up, Oh my god, so that's how harmonic singing works, is it's reinforcing the natural harmonics of your voice. Is that making any sense? Yeah. Great. There's a few people going, I didn't come here for this. <laughs> Stuffy, you're going to get educated if it hurts. Anyway, so now, um, the, cool, the thing that Charlie's asked for, he didn't ask for the physics lesson, <laughs> poor bastard, but he's asked for um, a thing that I call the triangle, which is singing up the notes of the harmonic series and splitting the looper into the corresponding fraction. Okay, so yeah, exactly, it's very exciting. So I'm going to sing up to the 12th harmonic, which is the fifth, um, and, uh, and I have to start very low, it's over three and a half octaves, so I've got to start <laughs> using uh, Louis Armstrong or uh, that voice there to get the low notes. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now, once I, this isn't really a bit of music, it's just a sound. And once I've built it up, I'll leave it running for a while so you can experience the full joy of it. And, um, and for those people who are particularly weirded out by it, um, I'll, I'll do some interpretive dance to distract you. Yeah. Here we go. Two. 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 Oh, that was a rubbish movie. Yeah. I'll do the whole thing again, I've got the burps. One. That's better. Two. One. Two. One. 
Check it out, there's this little reinforcement bass line to get one, two, dong, dong, go, have a listen. Yeah. That's kind of cute. And then there's at the top. Isn't that cute? Anyway, we're going to do a normal song now, Claire. I'll say, gentlemen, going, is this, do they ever do songs? So let's, let's go extremely the other way. Let's do Nunawee. 